Hello everyone and welcome to another part of my building my IKEA house and that is the bed so we have the parts for my Malm bed right over here and as you can see it's a standard king and it comes in two parts so we got this section over here and this one over here for the frame then we have a uh, lawn set which is the um, uh, slats for the uh, for the bed on which we put the mattress and then we have the center beam which uh, we use to uh, put the slats on with the bed so the first things that I'm gonna be doing is to take everything out of their boxes and then I'll be looking at some of the instructions to see how it's been done. So let's get to it then. So everything is unpacked and we can have a look at them just to see what's what and what's in each one of them. So Packs contain as follows. So in package number one, I think it was, you find the headboard for the bed, and these are the lower boards, yeah? These actual supports. Uh, and in package number two, you'll find the long supports for the bed, which basically make a frame, yeah? Then we have the Lancet, which contains, so there's two packages and I think they're identical. And they all have the uh, wooden beams and uh, the actual, you know, supports and wooden slats. And finally we have the, I think this is called Skorva, uh, the actual galvanized mid-beam onto which we support everything. Alrighty then, so, let's read the instructions and get started. So the first step is complete. What's happened is I have inserted these metal screws type retainers into the holes here and there and same on that side from these holders uh, I was about to hammer in these supports but I've later decided that I shouldn't do that because then it will take away from the overall stability of the bed especially since I'm putting it on carpet yeah so uh, there will be holes in some of them, yeah, there we go. And I just realized that, and I have actually taken them out because it's much better if I just leave them like this. Uh, it's a greater contact area on the actual carpet. And I don't need the uh, things, which I now realize that maybe I shouldn't have put on the wardrobe as well. But hey, you know, you learn and you, you do it next time. Anyway, next thing is to, so that was stage, one which I've skipped and two in here. Next stages will be number three and I guess will be four where we have to insert these metal holders which I guess go into here like this and then they rotate and they put everything in super nice and tight. Sweet, okay, let's do it then. So it's gonna be in these bad boys. Quick instruction in between doing all of these. These are a bit difficult to put on, so the way it works is uh, you put in these 
sort of wooden pegs make sure to put these top two and the middle one don't put any of these because this is where these go into yeah and then when you get to the metal bits yeah you have to align them so you have an arrow on them you gotta make sure that the arrow is sort of like this yeah it's uh it's in that area so that you can actually get in and make sure that you have all of that in yeah so it's all the way in and it's sort of towards down so you can actually get the thing in and then when you put it in the way it works is that you gotta get it in for a little bit the pegs and then beat them out until you get to about I don't know two three mil distance between this bit and this bit and then you start screwing these in using the provided allen key which is over there so do that and what I suggest doing is in order to make things easier because it's gonna cause issues later on put both sides on one board first and then sort of at the same time put the other two sides on the other board so okay let's uh, continue and the frame is now done it is completely put into place at least from this end so remember always put them in in the right spot and when you tighten them what you can do is when you beat them into place to to get closer together you can use something like what I used which is an oven mitt to uh, make sure you don't ding the actual wood yeah and uh, whenever you start hearing metal clings it means that the actual screws are hitting the retainers so uh, you can stop beating them then you can tighten these and remember these have to be tightened simultaneously yeah so you tighten a little bit of this like a quarter turn uh, then you do a quarter turn on this maybe half tops and then so on and so forth until everything gets closer and uh, you're full on you know one against the other that means that you've tightened it properly it's not gonna squeak it's not gonna cause structural issues and you're gonna be good to go all right so that was instructions three and four which uh, makes us move to the next ones which is the headboard yeah now I could put the headboard in now I'm not sure if it's gonna be any help but uh, and then we're gonna have to put in the actual yeah I'll put the headboard in because it's gonna I'm gonna have difficulties putting everything else after that yeah, that should be fine. Mm, it's gonna be some massive holes left over there after that, but hey, and what you can do about that. And then we'll put in the side supports and the center beam. Okay, cool. Righty then, let's do that then. The headboard is also in and uh, it's quite strong actually, it's nice and firm in place. So the pegs go into place in the top one, actually in the top one you put in the screws and then the pegs go in the bottom one, and then you put everything together, make sure you beat it up from the top again equally on both sides so it doesn't you know, create issues when you put it in. And then you put in these nice little plastic holders and the nuts and you got it going make sure you tighten them but not super much because then it will damage it and that's it so the next thing is to put in the supports so those were instructions five to seven for the Malma bed now what we got to do is we got to put in the actual rails for the slats now I will have to look at see where we should put them whether here or here uh, my mattress is only 18 centimeters tall and I do want to have a little bit down but that's down to 
this bad boy. So, if I were to put... I guess this, the way this works is like this. And you put it on the actual rail itself. So, if the rail were to go here, yeah, on the upper slot, then it means that this thing will still be out like that, and then it will be out like that. So, we need to put it on the lower slot, so we have the mattress going a little bit here and a little bit under the bed. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so we'll put it in the lower slots. Let's get on. have it folks the actual <clears throat> bed frame is done fully assembled and put together and this was insane so uh, this last bit where we uh, took care of the instructions it's quite a few of them actually all the way from 8 till the next one being 10, 11, 12, and literally I have no idea what these things are and what their purpose is, especially since we're using the lawn set. So I'm not gonna bother with them, I think it's for something else. Um, right, so, things to know about this is, so, put these on uh, it's just pretty simple support the thing with your leg or something and then you can put this in and then in order to make things a lot easier put the other end in align it perfectly the way you want to tighten it to some extent and then put the rest of the screws in yeah should be fine no easy no problem super easy same on the other end then the next thing that it's asking you to do is put these supports in for the mid beam yeah just normal supports you tighten them put them in the hole through the screws should be all good for both ends then the slightly tricky bits are these sort of I think lateral holders so that the bed doesn't go left or right something like that you know it just doesn't get skewed now these things don't have actual threads in them yeah so the ends and the one in the middle they don't really have threads so what I suggest you do like uh, you might have seen in the pictures um, take them individually put the actual screws through them separately you know outside of the frame make sure you make threads into the actual supports and then when you put them in you can just easily tighten the screws Super simple, super easy, because if you don't do that, and uh, you gotta be super careful while you do that, because you're gonna end up with one of these bad boys. And it was super painful. So, yeah, you don't want a screwdriver going through your finger. <laughs> now, um, the last bit is extend the Scorva beam. Yeah, just you pull it out on it, and you extend it, and you put it through the two holders, and you got the bed. Fully assembled, pretty sturdy. The things that will make noise are these things. Yeah. You will hear some noises. This is also going to make noise because it's metal on metal.
Yeah. So if you pull on it too hard, hopefully it's not going to make too much noise. Um, the next step would be to assemble lawn set, which is a whole new mother load. I need to make some space because these things are quite big and apparently quite complicated based on the instructions. So, bed frame is done. Let's continue with the slats. So the first step in actually putting the lawn set together is uh, going to demonstrate with the other pieces. Grabbing one of these main boards, main pieces that in, you put in these screws over from this side, just slightly protrude them to the other side a little bit, you know, and then what you do is with one of these bad boys, which I'll use from somewhere, the, one, the other one, you just put it in here. Yeah, and then you screw it in from the other side. Make sure it's perfectly flat when you do it. And there's no spaces so that there's no issues. Yeah, so you might want to retract this screw if you put it in too much. Something like this. Yeah, and then you screw it all together. And you end up having one of these. Okay, now for the continuation, you put the screws in for the other one. And this next bit is interesting because it's telling me that I should, to some extent, put these together, but you can't really put them together. So, um, or at least put them together, but somewhat separate, I don't know. Uh, what I suggest you do, and this is going to be a bit painful, but yeah, it's, it's just part of the process, is um, you take this, uh, now if you have room, which I don't, that's gonna suck. Uh, you take it and instead of putting it like this, you do it. Yeah. Come on. Move that one hand. Fortunately, don't wanna ruin anything. Oops, don't fuck the light bulb. Sorry about cursing. Uh, all right, so you do something like this. You put it over on this. So you put it sort of like on the bed, like this. Yeah. And then you sort of work in reverse to what this thing is telling you. Yeah, so it's going to want to have these put in the middle and then put the beams through this and then on the other side through that. But what I will be doing is I'll be putting in the beams in on that side and through this in the middle and then once they're all put together I will bring in this last bit and just bring everything together like that yeah and uh, that should hopefully uh, put everything perfectly in place so yeah we'll see how it works And it is done. Managed to put it in. So, uh, based on the process, as you can see, everything turned out real great. Now, make sure this is lined up straight in the middle. Yeah, it is going to be tight. So, if it's not in the middle, you won't be able to put it properly. Yeah, and uh, then you know, put them in and screw the bolts slash screws and you should be good to go now and the next step as per the instructions would be to take this all the way to the back screw it in 
yeah, make sure it goes in through that thing and uh, it's done. It should be all done. So let's get on with the final bits then. And there we have it, the final bit completed. The ribbon has been screwed down and the slats are complete. Full Lancet glory. Glorious Lancet. So, uh, be careful how you arrange these. I think they're made in such a way so that the white ones are harder, so that they support your weight. So that's why I think, you know, this is for your uh, torso and this is for your bum. Uh, so I don't know, or the other way around, but I think this is the, how they're supposed to be uh, done. And that's the legs over there. So uh, yeah, make sure you put the whites on the, uh, on the sort of light gray and the gray ones on the dark gray. So that you don't have any issues. And that's it. So the next bit would be to do the other one, have a complete set and put it on the bed. And it is done. Finally, after much turmoil, the lawn set beams are done as well. Two sets, two sets, one set, two pieces. And the mom bed with the lawn set Slats is complete and final. The only thing missing is a mattress. And guess what? We've got that one too. And there it is. The mattress for the bed. It is, of course, another IKEA product. The Morgedal memory foam mattress king size just like the bed and we have it a complete full somewhat well it's not full bedroom but the bed at least and the wardrobe fully completed fully assembled a lot of work hopefully it's gonna be worth it and there we have it the complete bed with slats and mattress from IQ and myself, Constantine, signing out.